Okay, in this question, they want us to complete the pattern. Okay, and if you guys notice, they've kind of outlined the pattern for us. Um, we have one row, this is our first row 12, 16, 23, 41. Then there's a second row, 28, 39, 64. Now if you notice, there's four numbers in the top row, then three in the next, and then two, and then, two, and then one. So we need to try to relate the rows. You, can you guys think of anything we do to relate row one to row two? Um, we add proper sequence. That's right. The numbers they've given us above, if we add them together, we're going to get our number in between. So for instance, we took 12 plus 16, 28. We got that one. Then we take the next pairing, 16 plus 23, we got 39. All right, good. And finally, 23 plus 41, do we get 64? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so usually what patterns mean is they follow the same rule over and over again. So now we're down to three numbers and we have to break it down into two. How do you think I find this box here from the information I've been given above? Sure. So let's try that. 28 plus 39. So we have 28 plus 39, 80. Okay. Well, let's figure out the other one first, too. 39. Yeah, I don't think it is 80. Did we type that in wrong? 28. Oh, jeez. Plus. 67. I wonder why I came out as 80. Must have pushed add it from before. Anyways, uh, 67. And then we have, let's clear this. Maybe that was the problem. 39 plus 60. Is it 7 in the book? No, 64. Because mm -hmm. we're taking that number from above. It's 103. Okay. What would be our last step to find out this final large number? Yeah, that's right. We need to add these two numbers together. Okay, so we have our 103 plus our 67, 17. So the idea to this pattern is whatever two numbers were on top, we combine them to make the one below. And we continuously did that. Okay, so it kind of went like that. We'll draw a little arrows in green. So we did 12 and 16 to get 28, 16 and 23 to get 34. 23 and 41 to get 64, then 28, 39, 39 and 64, and finally 64 and 103. And if you notice, this is kind of like a reverse tree pattern. If you've done the tree pattern before, normally they'll have a number and then they break it, and then you can kind of break it off from there with our tree diagrams. You've seen stuff like that before? Yeah. yeah. This is kind of like the reverse one, where we start with all the numbers and we combine them to get into our one pair.